So, you worked real hard to get those grades. You worked hard to study for the MCAT exam and also to prepare your personal statement into and autobiographical materials. And all that went very well. So then you get a letter that you have been invited to a medical school interview. So what's the first thing that you need to do? Well, there are a number of things on your list, but one is you'll have to go shopping. The reason for this is, unfortunately, they are going to decide in usually between 20 and 40 minutes whether or not you have what it takes to be a future doctor. And that is dependent on all kinds of factors. It's going to be the attitude that you bring to the interview, the way you answer the questions, and unfortunately, appearance comes into it at some point. So, medicine is a very conservative profession. And that is going to be what you're going to be aiming for. So your attire should be rather conservative. What about your attitude? They are looking for people who are enthusiastic about medicine. Now it's very easy to show your enthusiasm with your friends and family, but it is more difficult to go into an interview where you might be a bit nervous and smile with the interviewer and show that you're enthusiastic about medicine as a potential career. This is critical to the reaction that you must have during the interview. The other thing that you must do is provide eye contact. Eye contact is so important for two critical reasons. One is it shows sincerity. Many students ask, can I say I love people in the interview or is that too hokey? Well, the truth is, is that there are many things that could be said or not said in an interview. The point is how it's said. One student you might believe and the other student you might not believe. And the one that you believe you may end up admitting. Eye contact is one of the features that's important. It tells the admissions committee that you are very sincere about what you're saying and it also so shows a level of confidence in what you're about to say.